please come on pretty please welcome back folks the let's play Baldur's Gate 2 the enhanced edition the shadows of arm and wait last we left off the party inadvertently stumbled on the headquarters of the twisted rune a group that bears no connection or relation to the hero of Waterdeep and the slayer of Monda in Mithranor Apparently that was the name of the Dark God that the party slew in either Beholder 3. The more you know, eh? We got as our reward the Staff of the Magi that Edwin is currently using. And Mai is a devastatingly powerful item. Without any spells buffing his AC, the combination of this ring here, the Robe of Vecna, and the Staff of the Magi gives him an armor class of 2. It's equivalent to him being a fighter and wearing a suit of plate mail plus one. For a wizard, that is terrifyingly good for an AC. He's oh, also God, constantly invisible, else. which you think may be a good thing. But let me assure you, I've been playing in a tabletop campaign where a rogue has had a ring of invisibility for quite a while. It often is pretty good, but sometimes we think the rogue is with us when she's not. And then she gets into trouble far away from us. Always being invisible, not always great, but it does mean that people will underestimate our party. They'll think, ha, ah, they don't have a wizard. Surprise, Edwin has been invisible all along and now you are gone. We're going to be examining a few places in the bridge district before we go and start a quest. There is a quest that we can begin at the Five Flagons Inn over here. But first, there is this very unassuming door. What's so special about it? Does it have a trap like the one that we opened to get to the Twisted Rune? No, no it doesn't. But it does have one thing of note. We'll pop in and immediately pause the game as there is Dracondrus, the wizard. We have Peter, Falahar, and Valeria. They are all going to attack us immediately. And, and we're going to respond in kind by slaying them. I don't know if they're connected to any particular quest, but it doesn't matter because this is a group that you could encounter very early on. And as such, they are not going to be lasting too long at all. Have at thee! You've cast a few things that could protect you, but we are going to use a pierce magic on you. You're going to uh, use some buff spells. I don't think you're going to be casting any spells for now. And let's see how quickly this goes. Well, you're already hurt. You're nearly dead. You've already been hurt, and that's one person taken care of. I'm going to have you go all the way around and try and take care of Valeria. You're going to uh, keep firing sling bullets, and that pierce magic should certainly help. I think it did. I think you should focus your attacks on the wizard and switch to the flame arrows. Falahar is not going to last very long, and neither are you when we get round to you. Oh, your uh, spells are gone, and you are also dead. You're going to be dead in a moment, and you're going to follow. Actually, you died first, and that's the whole party taken care of. And you took a few nasty hits there, but that's fine. You're really the only person that got hurt. One person getting mildly injured? I'll take that. Now, as for our loot, it's not super impressive, but it's better than you'd think. This person here had a suit of plate mail and a gem. We also have minor amounts of gold, another suit of plate mail, a pair of braces, and a single dart. We're not going to be taking the dart. You don't know what the braces are, but I don't think they're anything super impressive. They are braces of defense, armor class 7. They are not impressive. These will go into here. What is pretty neat is that there is more in here than you'd first expect. There are two things back here, as well as a few barrels. You are lucky I'm here. Are any of these locked? I think they're both, yep, yeah, they're both trapped, which tells you that there might be some nice goodies in here. The traps are gone, and this one is locked. We'll have you quickly go over here and see if there's anything worth looking at here. Nope, just some random non-magical items. What about here? A single gold piece. Yes. But in here, 
are some spell scrolls. I believe that these are spells that, uh, yep, we either can't use or already know. But we'll put them in here because, hey, eventually we'll sell all of them and realize that we have a lot more money than 62,000. What is it now? We're already back up to yes. 62,000. In here, 460 gold, a rather worthless gem, but then there's a star sapphire and a Laurel's tear necklace. We actually have a few of those. I really should get round to selling them. I keep saying that I should get round to selling the things that I have. I'll do so eventually. Definitely before we move to Chapter 3. Let's leave. We've done all that we need to here, and we really didn't expend many resources. In fact, all we expended was a single use of haste. And I think I may have misinterpreted the uh, ability of the Staff of the Major. I thought that it had three fireballs and lightning bolts a day. It has a fireball-lightning combination. It'll launch both. Hello, you. You're a sailor. I'm gonna say hi. Best not be gone long, before me captain has me hide. I'm almost tempted to seek out the fabled elven city of Soldan Esselar. I'm told it is fair to the eye, but the sea calls, of course. I'm sure we'll never be going there. We might very well be going there. Let us head into the inn. You'll notice, by the way, that uh, Edwin is no longer invisible. How do we solve that? We make him re-equip the staff, and now he's invisible once more. Let's see if we can get in. There we go. We're in! And there are lots of people that we can talk to here. There is uh, Jerry Jantos, and Hrothgar Firehammer, and there is Bell here. Let's speak to everyone, starting with you. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. You think I can't fight monsters, do you? Just because I'm short? Well, I can run through an orc's legs better than anybody. Good to know? By Moradin's hammer. Hey, now. You weren't I Migrog, were you? You can't have it. It's my grog. Do you really think I'm going to steal your grog? Grog doesn't even sound that appetizing. Hello, Thalia Thunderburp. How are you? Have a seat, if you wish. I've got three customers to serve before I can get to you. Don't worry, we're not going to be drinking anything here. We've got other business. Hello, Belle. Hello there. I have honed my battle skills aboard the ships that ply the Sword Coast. Many a pirate has fallen before my blade. Good to know. Hello, Samuel Thunderburp. Probably married to Thalia. How are you? Hello, me good smiling friends. Here at the Five Flagons, you'll find a cheery smile and every beverage in Faerun available for your appreciation. You have every type of drink available? I hardly believe that. It's true as true, my friend. I may not keep it all on the shelf. Not much call for Turmish beer, for instance. But I bet the fur on my feet. I have it in my cellar. All right, you've piqued my interest. Let me look at what you have. But of course, take a look at the shelves. We have Tetherian Brandy, Sembian Mead, Thescan Dark Ale, even a bit of Dwarven Grog if that tickles your fancy. And if you haven't already, do take a look at the theater established downstairs. I'm told the plays are a marvel. Oh, but I prattle. Let me get you a menu. They have every type of room available, and they have a fair selection of ales. We don't want any of that, but we do want to yeah. head downstairs and see to that theater. Are you named? No, you are just tavern patron. Let's go down. Are we gonna kill something now? Pleasure to meet you. A very eve to ye, sir. The troop of players is just beginning its next performance. If you wish to partake, we ask that you donate five gold for a ticket, but it is not required. Would you like to purchase a ticket then, sir? What sort of play is this? It is a most dramatic play put on by the fine members of the Sigil Troop. Tis better to see than to be described. Would you like a ticket then, mayhap? The Sigil Troop, eh? Now there's a place you don't want to get lost in. You may never get out. Certainly. Here is your five gold. Most gracious of ye, ma'am. Ye may enter the theatre as ye wish. Just show your ticket to yon ushers, please. Are uh, you ushers? You are ushers! Right. Let's be guided to our seats. It 
doesn't look that busy. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Going inside. No problem. Let's see the performance. Hopefully it'll be fun. Oh, your lover has abandoned me, sweet Lunisia. You have only one option left. Turn us thou to me and let us be wed at last. No, Kiramaldo. I cannot. Oh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, my fair love, where hast thou gone? Uh, here I am. Here I am, my, uh, sweetums. Hello, Biff the Understudy. Biff the Understudy is a character that was put in Baldur's Gate 1 as a failsafe just in case you somehow manage to kill critical NPCs. Biff the Understudy would appear and then saber lines for the NPC that was meant to be there. And here he is now, not acting very well. Oh dear. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, it is the long last. But where have I've been? Uh, across the sea, my fair, um, my fair one. Y yeah, yes, that's it. Across the sea, and uh, say, that's not the act they had last time. <clears throat> and perhaps on the new lands, my lord. Yes, that's it. On the new lands. Yes. Um. Uh, you're not very good at this, are you, Biff? Uh, where's the actor that was here last time? Ugh. This is terrible! Awful! <clears throat> but... Is it Rodrigo? No. No. How can this be? Well, you should be. So, um... Confused? It is confused, right? It is baffled! Baffled! Baffled, yes. Well, uh, you should look so baffled, my lord. Um, Kiranaldo, t'was you who, who, who... Boo! Oh, terrible. Get him off the stage. Who, um, which that, uh, in the way... Does anyone have any tomatoes? Ushers, do you sell tomatoes? Arranged for me to be shipped across the sea. Huh? What's that? Yes, you are correct, Rodrigo. Twas I that arranged for thy trip across the great ocean. Twas a, um, truly fiendish of me. But how did thy ever come to return so quickly? Uh, I forget. I'm just the understudy. Spirit, bait! I refuse to watch this! I agree! Boo! 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 That's awful! Terrible! <sighs> Oh dear. I... I am sorry, good folk of the audience. As you can see, things are not quite right with our troupe due to circumstances beyond our control. Well, I was thinking that something stank like the sticks, and it'd be fine to see my senses were not deceived. Ha! Good thing I did not pay to see this, I. I did. Beg of you, good people. Come back another day when we have restored matters. We shall prove to you then that the sigil troop is worthy of your attention and coin. And we shall do so for free, of course. That's good of you. And one final odd request, good folk. If you or another knows of those who are skilled in the arts of sword and adventure, do send them to speak to me. It is a matter of utmost urgency. What a coincidence that we happen to be here, eh? It's almost like there's a quest that we can do here. There is. Tell them to come and speak to I. Rael is shy. Until then, I apologize again and bid you a fair evening. And off everyone goes. We, meanwhile, are going to go back here and speak to everyone that's there, including... Biff the understudy. Hello, Biff. How are you? Hey. I'm really, really tried. <laughs> you did try. You just didn't do very well. Let's speak to Kiranaldo. Hmm? If you have business with us, my lady, I suggest you speak to Realis. She is the leader of our troop and our mentor, and she can tell you of our difficulty. We will also speak to... Lunisia. Salutations. 
Without Herr Delise as our Rodrigo, I am afraid there is little that we can do. Foolish tiefling getting caught as he has. Herr Delise is a tiefling? The plot thickens. Uh, hello. I am afraid if you are looking for a refund for tonight's performance, I can only tell you to come back when our troop is not in such disarray. Actually, I'm here regarding your call for adventurers. Is this true, child? Fate smiles on us, then, for I can see in your bearing that you are a woman of no mean experience. I thank you for coming to our aid. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You must hear our story, then. One of our actors, Herr Delise, has been kidnapped by a wizard native to this city. He has made no effort to negotiate with us. The wizard's greed may have called to him at the sight of Herr Delise's beloved gem, something our sparrow would not gladly surrender. So this wizard has stolen both away, and there is nothing we can do. I would ask that you return our sparrow and his gem to us both, by whatever means possible. Who is this wizard, and where can I find him? His name is Mekrath, I believe. I know that his lair can be accessed through the city sewers, though where exactly lies is a mystery. Why do you not simply contact the city guard? I am... Unsure of your particular customs, but it has never been this sigil's fortune to be treated fairly by the many city authorities that we have come across. As well, though Herr Delise might be released, would the gem be returned? The wizard could say it is his, and we could offer no proof to the contrary. No, we must have our brother and his gem both returned safely, with no questions asked of us due to our strangeness. It is the best way. I need to collect a large amount of gold to rescue a friend of my own, so any reward you offer would be appreciated. We are but a destitute troop of players, child, and can afford little. Mekrath may have treasures of his own, wrested from his grasp if you wish to do so. But coin is ne'er on the tongue. I can offer you three hundred gold for our sparrow's return. Bring back the gem, and I can do more than double that. Is that sufficient? Six hundred gold is not a great amount, but Mekrath may have a decent amount of coin himself. So, we'll agree. Yes, we shall do as you ask. Fly, then. Fetch our brother away from his captor however you might, and return to us soon. My prayers go with you, my good woman. We have a quest. And we definitely need to read up on this one, because we don't quite know where we're going. I've accepted a commission from Realis Shai, the leader of a troop of players who work in the playhouse underneath the Five Flagons. One of her actors, Herr Delise, has been kidnapped by a wizard named Mekrath, whose laboratory is accessible through the sewers. I am to retrieve Herr Delise from the wizard, as well as locate a jewel that belongs to him. Okay, how are we going to get to the sewers? Does this way lead to the sewers conveniently, or is this just an area backstage? Would my opinion of this group drop any lower? Evidently this so. just looks like a backstage area, though there's something there that we can grab. This storeroom contains a large number of props and other sundries used in the theater, and I'm definitely going to save before I try and grab that. I don't want to anger everyone here. More importantly, is there a trap here? Because there might be. This is something you definitely miss if you weren't using the highlight things in the area button. Okay, it's not really that valuable, but it is a few small amounts of gold. There are some spell scrolls here, though. These are pretty valuable. We'll put these in here, and we'll grab that final <coughs> scroll. In fact, yes. I will get Edwin to grab One. the final scroll. Marvellous. You can actually learn that one. I may get you to learn that at some point. Oh, yes. So we can't get to the sewers from here. Very well. Fair enough. We're going to have to find a way beneath the city. We do know of one way, and that is in the uh, Temple District, but I don't know if that is going to be where we need to go. Maybe there's a way to the entry. sewers in the bridge district. That would be awfully convenient, but considering how big the city is, it's more likely that it'll be somewhere else. 
And when we come back, folks, we're on the hunt for a wizard. And we might as well have a look and see... Nope, there is no way that we can see here that will bring us to the sewers. We're going to have to find another route. Hopefully the wizard won't be too tricky to defeat. It's unlikely that Mechrath will be especially challenging, in part because we are a very high-level party. You could probably go to uh, Chapter 3 after doing only a couple of major quests. We did not start at level 13, that's for sure. I believe the original Shadows of Arm only had you be able to go to, say, level 17 in the game. So being level 13 already, it's a good sign that we're going to be pretty powerful by the end. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.